Hey, how's it going? It's me again. Yay! I'm making a random uh, rant video on obviously how the Wii is an underrated console. Now, a lot of you uh, people out there would probably be like, What do you mean? You know, they, they sold the most and you know, whatever, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, maybe. But, um,. I have some arguments for why the Wii is actually an underrated uh, console. Um, and it's mainly because of people who are like that. Now, first let's get started with the uh, whole thing happening with the Wii um, when it came out, basically. Or even before when it, before it came out. Um... Because the Wii was marketed uh, differently than the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3. The Wii was basically... Because at the time, um, you know, technology was a big fear among a lot of parents. You know, they're oh, we're losing family time and, you know... The kids are getting fat because they're not playing outside and um, losing their imaginations or something like that or whatever. Um, and um, though we basically marketed on the idea that, hey, you know, the family can all play together on this uh video game console, local multiplayer is widely accepted because Nintendo, um, since the Nintendo 64 has been pretty, uh, been the leader in local multiplayer. And, um, and we have fitness games or, you know, we use motion controls so that you aren't sitting around getting fat instead you're get, you're burning calories as you play the games. Blah, 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 blah. And, Technology has come to the point where it's basically virtual reality because you are your movements dictate the movements of the character that you play as and blah 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 blah. Um and um that's how it was marketed and it proved to be very well. They had a lot of family oriented games and um all of that. And you know what, I do agree that the Wii has probably the biggest slew of really stupid games the just dance series um is one example but um you know the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360 had games just like those too in in fact um they are pro they were actually um uh, even cheaper, lower quality knockoffs of those, which I think is hilarious. No one talks about them because, you know, they're perfect consoles, but, you know, the Wii is crap. Um, graphics or whatever, you know. Well, here's... I've always um, had this kind of... Well, I, don't, I haven't always had that kind of this mentality, but... You know, it's always seemed that um, Nintendo could get could knock out really good graphics out of a rock. Like they they could work with virtually nothing. Are the hardware specs on the Wii very um, you know top of the line? Top, you know, no. Um, and does it have the graphics? This graphics that like a really good. Um, it can, um, if developers weren't, uh, like third-party developers, if they weren't as lazy, um, as they are, they could probably actually make some pretty decent-looking games on there. Um, I mean, yeah, the Wii isn't graphically superior or equal with, um, the, the Xbox 360 and the Wii U. I mean, sorry, not the Wii U, the PS3, but, I mean... You know, that's another thing. The quality of games that come out for the consoles, too. I mean, one thing the Xbox 360 has going for it is the uh, Forza series. Um, 
uh, shoot, uh, Halo, the Halo series. Um, those two that come to my mind just immediately. Um, those are really good um, right off the bat. Uh, really good series that the, the exclusives that the Xbox gets. Um, for the PS3, you have uh, God of War and um, uh, GT5, or uh, Gran Turismo uh, 5, because that's the only one that's come out for the PlayStation 3. Um, but for the Wii, you have all of these. Um, and don't get me wrong, those are really high quality, you know, um, develop uh, very good quality games, first party games. But when you talk about first party in terms of the Wii, you have a l lot of good quality games. You have, you know, the new Super Mario Bros. Um, you know, this Super Mario Galaxies one and two. Basically, you have the Mario series, you have the Zelda series, and you have the Metroid series. Um, and you have the, uh, the Kirby series, um, and you have some Sonic exclusives for the Wii, so it's, it's actually a pretty decent console when you think about it, um, uh, in terms, oh, well, Sonic is third party, sorry about that, but I'm still, um, we know I said exclusive, so I covered my butt. Ha ha ha. Take that, fanboys. Anyways, um, yeah, it's, it's actually a pretty decent console. Um, a lot of people just kind of, oh, it's a, it's a console for 10 year olds or, you know, it's, it's for this, it's for that, it's for gay kids, you're not a real gamer or something like that. I mean, Obviously, they don't understand. Yes, there are a lot of, a huge slew of bad games for the Wii. But you know what? Every console has a huge slew of bad games. Um, the Wii just happens to stand out because you have a lot of attention uh, being paid to the Wii by the uh, Microsoft and Sony fanboys or whatever who, you know, say, Oh, see, the Wii sucks. This console is way better or something. Now, me personally, I really didn't take a side, um, you know, on, I didn't have an opinion about uh, a favorite of the consoles that came out um, for the this ending generation right now. Um, I really just stuck with the Wii simply because it was, because we had a I had a GameCube, uh, cause I was a GameCube player, and on um, the GameCube, both of them died. So when we, I got the Wii, it was backwards compatible, so we could play GameCube games and Wii games. So I was basically getting a GameCube and a new console on once. Whereas if you were buying an Xbox 360, it was only compatible. It was compatible backwards compatible with some Xbox games and the PS3. Um, the the slim model is only backwards compatible with some PlayStation One games. Um, doesn't really uh, full backwards compatibility uh, the Wii has, and nobody pays attention to that. They're all just um encircling around the whole idea of you know better graphics, um, and better quality Call of Duty games or whatever. I mean, Call of Duty for the Wii, yeah, you know what, it is pretty bad, but third-party developers just didn't really care about the Wii. They weren't interested in the motion controls, and that's fine. I mean, when I first heard about the motion controls, I thought it was pretty cool, but then, you know, it got kind of tiring, and I just wanted to play with a controller. That's why they had uh, some of the games use the GameCube controller or the uh, Wii Classical controller, you know? So... Really, what it boils down to is the p the the reason why the Wii is largely underrated is because people don't really give it the credit that it deserves and what kind and um really understand what 
how what made the um the Wii a good console. Um yeah. I mean the the PS3 is cool and so is the Xbox 360 and I'm not saying the Wii is the greatest either. Um I I think Nintendo could have done a little bit better with um the whole uh what was it? Seventh generation? I'm pretty sure. I think they could have done better because, I mean, you had a, a virtual masterpiece like the Wii, which was, in my opinion, um, probably the best console of that generation. Uh, and now you have this upcoming generation. You have the Wii U that's already out, which, of course, everybody's ignoring. And you have the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4 that's coming out, that are both coming out pretty soon, and um, of course everybody's talking about those. And obviously I think Sony and Microsoft are going to have, be train wrecked this, um, this generation just because of the fact that they basically rushed out um, their new consoles. Pro chiefly because of the fact that the Wii U came out so early, and it is more powerful than their current standing consoles. And, you know, and plus, don't you think about, you know, $500 and $400 are a bit much to be putting on a console? I mean, that's one of the things, you know. Nintendo can f m make a produce anything graphically from a rock and they really make sure that it's affordable but it does it is a powerful machine that's what they did with the Wii U and the GameCube and you know it, I don't know what do you guys think you're probably thinking I'm gay or something for saying that the Wii is underrated but in my opinion it is because uh, the Wii has uh, actually pretty great game. This is pretty consistent with its first uh, party um, games. and Yeah, so what do you think? Uh, you probably don't even think anything about the Wii U because you've accept that it's got the name Wii, which means it's gay. <laughs> and, you know, that's what a lot of people think. But, you know, uh, tell me what you think. Um, yeah. See you.